Hey everyone, so obviously it's uh, Lick Friday week 238. This week's Lick um, is coming up now. There we have it. So we are all in lockdown. UK obviously is in lockdown. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's very weird out on the streets, but I'm not going to dwell on that too much because a lot of people are dwelling on it, whereas we kind of need to just move on, get on with what of our lives as we can. Um, I think I'm one of the lucky few in the sense of I'm out delivering for a food company called Waitrose. Um, and uh, yeah, it gets me out and about, which is rather nice in the sunshine, but the streets are empty. It's really odd. Anyways, um, right, so um, this lick, as I said, is over, it's like a funky-ish type track. Um, it's, so you can play this over any funky-ish type track, any rock track in a sense, but it's more of a funky rock riff, just because of the funkiness of it, sort of. Um, so it's based around C sharp minor, you can apply it to any key, just transpose it, that's a good practice for you guys to do whilst you're doing the self isolating thing. Um, and uh, yeah, apply it over as many different backing tracks that you can. It's quite straight, quite powerful, um, and you have to dig in, so just do what you can with it and uh, make it work for you. Right, I'm not going to blabber on too much. The tabs available on that link there and also the Patreon page where you can say thanks to me by donating and all that sort of stuff um, and lessons and things that you won't find on YouTube. So with that as said, aside, with that said, um, let's, uh, let's, let's yeah, get on with that breakdown. So it starts off with this thing, where we go. <laughs> Okay, so that basically is uh, an octave. So if you're not familiar with octaves, it's basically the same note, but 12 steps or semitones up, half steps up even. Um, so we're playing fret nine on the D string and fret 12 on the B string. I'm using finger one, finger four, and there's a string in between which you're not gonna be playing. So you need to use basically your first finger to lay across that string itself. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so I'm kind of using that kind of technique thing there. Um, and what happens is, as you strike those three strings, you hit the middle one anyway, but you don't hear it because you're muting it. And that's how you get that octave sound. So what we're gonna do, once you get used to that octave, you slide that up to frets 11 and 14. So, oh, not like that, hey. <laughs> Just like that, so. So practice that, get used to that, and see how well you do. Then come back and do the rest. Uh, so once you've done that, you've got basically three strikes of type thing. So you're just laying your fingers on those strings, muting all the strings, and doing that. So, okay. Now when you've done the down, up, down, the next strum is an up, where you're gonna hook strings two and three, and you're gonna basically blues curl those two strings like that okay so that's on fret nine of two and three and then you're on to 11 9 11 on the d string so that part so far and when you're hooking that ninth fret double stop with a blues curl at the end really dig in you want that to stand out and emphasize quite a lot Okay, so once you've done that, you've got a 16th note rest, or actually a, another muted note, or you can rest it, it's up to you. Then you've got the 12th fret, second string, full tone bend, quite a slow bend. Kind of like that, really. And then it goes. Okay, so that part is nine on the first string. 12 pull off to the 9 on the second string, then you're going back to the first string, 12 and 9, and then 12, 9 second string, and then it's 11, 9 on that third string. So that little section is... 
and really emphasize some of these notes because of the type of track it's over it needs that sort of pushing those notes out really sort of emphasize as i said emphasize quite a few times all right there you go i'll play it slow for you here we go so three and four and Don't forget about the vibrato as well. Um, that's obviously very important. Keep it wide, keep it even, and um, yeah, enjoy it. There you are, right. The end, we've done it, made it to the end once again. Please look after yourselves, everyone. Stay safe, keep your distance, and do as people say. Don't be an idiot. Right, there you are. See you next week for week two, three, nine. And that is it, everyone. See you soon. Thank you very much.